Hi, I'm Anna Rodell. I'm a local artist and I would like to share with you some secrets on how to do a wonderful kids room. Now today I've been hired to do a mural for a child's room that the theme will be a safari or African animals and it is going to be so fun. We're going to do a tree, a parrot, um, some elephants. So come on and I'll show you how to get started. Okay, here we're going to start by drawing on the wall before we get to the fun part, which is the painting. Now I'm going to show you two secrets that artists use. One is using graphite and the other is using a grid. Now using the graphite paper, which you can buy at most art supply stores, you first draw, draw a picture out on a piece of paper. You take your graphite paper, you put that up on the wall. You take your picture, put that up and take a pencil, draw around your image. Take your paper off and voila, you've got a parrot. Okay, this is our second example of how to get your picture up on the wall. Now this is using the grid system. And so what I first do is I make a grid on the wall. I find a picture that I like and I tape that right beside where I'm going to be drawing. Then I take the grid paper that I've made and place that over your image. So basically what you're going to be doing is transferring this picture to over here. And what I want you to do is only look at one square at a time. And you draw that shape inside the square and come over here and draw that shape inside the square. Try to forget that it is a tiger you're drawing and just look at the shapes. And keep doing that until you have your image up on the wall. Now let's get started and start painting. So over here I've drawn some giraffes and I've made a palette of browns and some blacks, white and yellow, then I have some water and some polyurethane. So the first thing I do is just wet my brush and get a little bit of color on the end of that. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to just lay some of my color down and just sort of follow that line. This might be a little bit different for you, but I clean my brush off and then I'm going to take a little bit of polyurethane and a tiny bit of water and I'm going to see if that color will lift a little bit and sort of go out because that's going to be hair. And I'm going to just let the paint sort of do its own thing. So maybe I'll do some of these little spots right here going to be real simple, almost what we just did, just laying your color down, not worrying too much about it at all. Then I'm going to get some water and a little bit of polyurethane and just sort of let the paint do its own thing. Now when you paint any object, like I had mentioned, you don't want to paint it solid because that's going to make it flat. As you can see, we're almost done with this giraffe. Now I have a lot of painting to do to get this safari room completed. And the next time you see us, it should be done. This ordinary white room has now been transformed into a fun African adventure. Okay, here's the mommy giraffe and the baby giraffe that we were painting. Remember, we just used a watercolor technique on it, so it went very quickly. It was very simple. And all I did was add some few little leaves and a little twig to give it interest. We have elephants and zebras. We also finished up our tiger, which we started with the grid, and I think he turned out great. Young and old love this type of room. It has color, excitement, and it's fun. So go ahead, be creative, use your imagination, and have fun with it.